loneliness in your city. So loneliness is a is a issue growing worldwide right now as populations have boomed. Ironically, so has the numbers of people that are feeling lonely. According to the Red Cross, over 20% of Americans, of adult Americans, often feel or always feel lonely. Loneliness is something we've all experienced, haven't we? The loss of a loved one, uh, friends or family moving away, uh, the feeling of being alone with nobody there to help. Who does this normally affect? Normally it's elderly who have nobody coming and visiting them, people who are new to the city, don't have anybody around, and apparently a lot of teenagers are going through issues with loneliness. So there's a difference between being alone and being lonely. Loneliness is not merely physical isolation. It's also a feeling of being disconnected or isolated from others. Being alone is more of a physical state. Example, like when Jesus would go alone to pray to the Father. But feeling lonely is emotional, like a feeling of lacking meaningful connection with someone else. You feel a lack of meaningful connection when you're here at church? I sure don't. I feel a lot more connected when I'm with you guys and when I'm in the Word, when I open up my Bible and I spend time with God. I can be alone at times like that and and know that I am not lonely. The issue with loneliness is repeatedly addressed in the Bible. Did you know that the word alone appears around 118 times in the Bible? But rarely does it mean feeling lonely. Another interesting fact, its meaning never even appeared in the dictionary until well after World War II. I ask you this, did God intend us to feel lonely? You know, after he made all the animals, birds, fish, insects, everything on the earth, you know, he made those in pairs. He made them together. It wasn't until he made man alone that he saw he needed a helpmate. And through him that he made this helpmate, Eve, not until then is when he said, it is well, that it is good. It's good to be with each other. It's good to be within the word at all times because, you know, as we're hearing here today, that as long as we have Christ with us, we are not lonely. We are not alone. So I leave you with this question. Would you rather be cold and lonely out there or would you rather be in the word and be full of Jesus' love? Thank you. (laughs) 